Welcome guys, we are live. We are going to be finishing up Duelists of the Roses today. I'm really excited for this one for you guys because we have actually been grinding quite a lot and we have a pretty cool zombie deck. That's why I actually like skipped a week or so because I wanted to like grind this game a little bit. Uh, we've just been dueling Tristan and stuff like that. But we have, uh, we have our pumpkin all the way up to a three which is pretty exciting we have it all the way up to three which is really really cool um in the promotions which is really insane we have we unlocked some stuff i'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of the deck we're gonna be using really quickly so we've got pumpkin as our deck master of course we have kaiser dragon and stuff like that we have two dragons in the deck just so we can make like twin headed and stuff like that we have only one Skull Servant because of the rank of the deck. We have Snake Hair, Armored Zombie, Dragon Zombie, Clown Zombie, stuff like that. A bunch of Clown Zombies. We only have one Dragon Zombie, unfortunately. Two Pumpkin in the main. We have a Graveyard of the in the Hand of Invitation, stuff like that. Wood Remains, Shadow Ghouls, Skeletons. We even promoted Skeleton, like we've been really working on it. We've got Swordsmith, or a uh, Swordsman from a Foreign Land. We actually unlocked a Chimera, which was neat, right through a reincarnation. Thunder Dragons and stuff like that. Hey, I remember, yeah. I remember that, yeah. It's good to see you, Austin. So we have Monster Reborn, Burning Lands. Burning Land has been MVP. Dude, this has been MVP. MVP card, okay? Like, MVP. I wanted to unlock these. These were important. The Dark Energy and Violet Crystals. Uh, Bright Castle's kind of okay. It's not great, but it's okay. And then we also still have the Millennium Shield in the deck. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. We haven't unlocked anything really crazy. Nothing really insane. But, we're going to get straight on into this and see what we can actually do. So, we're going to go duel against, I think... Meku was next. I think Meku Tsunami was next. Let me see. Yes. Mako was next. And then we've got, like, I think after him is Joey. And then Grandpa, Bakura, Millennium uh, Protector guy. It's shoddy. And then um, Yugi. I think that's it. I might be mistaken on like one or two of them. They might be flipped, but let's go ahead and see what we can do. If you're looking for a boat to take you to the continent, climb aboard. You know you had a cool voice like that. You just know you would. All right, land local. If you want to reach the continent, you'll have to face me in a duel. Me? My name is Maker. Card mercenary. I see you're in my element, Ark. I've been waiting for you to cross my path. Defeat me and I'll deliver you to the shores of... Oh my god. I thought that said baloney. I thought that said baloney. It's not. I've got nothing against you, but I've been paid well to ensure you never reach the continent. And I intend to keep my end of the bargain. They literally hired... Freaky fish guy to beat me. As I told you, the sea is my element. You haven't got a chance. I really would love like a whole flushed out game of this. The the music for this game is like peak. This is like some of my favorite music. Sometimes when I'm like deck building, I'll just turn on like a playlist of this game. See, our hands are a lot better. Like, that's a lot better. I know that that doesn't look like a lot, but it being a level 1 monster doesn't eat up the stars that we use, which can help out a lot. Especially when he does stuff like this, and he's going to throw a monster that's just going to immediately get, like, sniped by that. And then we can do stuff like this. And immediately throw, like, Pumpkin behind us. I'm like, Pumpkin's back there doing this, powering up all our zombies. Yeah, bye, Jellyfish. D. 
Did he really? Oh, that jellyfish looks cool. That jellyfish looks really cool. I love how they did turn it into an electric jellyfish later when they retrained the card. Like, that's really neat that they actually retrained it to be electric jellyfish. And, like, they actually made the Kairushin deck pretty decent, which is really cool. And based on a legendary ocean, like, I really like that deck, the way they made it. And... Night. So there, we got rid of one monster already. Maybe we'll get lucky and I'll throw a Whale Fortress, that'd be neat. What is this, 2,000 or below? Okay, yeah. Um... I guess I'm gonna just start getting stuff out of my hand. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and get some cards out of our hand. He might just lock down right there. Yeah, he's probably just gonna lock down right there. Which is fine, because I'm probably gonna lock down over here. Ooh, Shadow Spell. That'd be helpful. This might be a little bit more of a grind, I will warn you guys, for this duel. Ah, uh, I know, Omega. I know you've been waiting on this. Okay. So, I guess what we'll do is just start working on our actual monsters. I don't want to really, like, boost armored zombie too much because I feel like Skeleton would be really neat. I really want to build a deck based around Serpent Knight Dragon. Are you talking about in this game or are you talking about in the TCG? I think we just dropped it back down to its original attack one. Yeah, I'll just throw a clown zombie. See, I feel like I should get rid of that wood remain. Probably not. Probably get rid of the... Probably get rid of these. Probably do like that. Because the Shadow Ghoul just isn't going to be very helpful. And neither is that. So we'll just get rid of that right there. And just kind of sit with the wood remain and the armored zombie with um, the pumpkin boosting it up. By the way, you haven't missed anything, Omega. You haven't missed anything at all. Dude, I'm giving him a tough time. Yes, I have already... I have already uh, defeated the White Rose side. That's why this is probably... For now... After this one, I I technically have beaten the entire game. After this duel. Or not after this duel, but after this stream. Because I'm planning on trying to beat the entire game in this stream. At least that's the plan. I wish I could draw my other pumpkin. That'd be great. This just turns all all uh, my monsters into zombies. Okay, so we're kind of getting somewhere because we've got like we're starting to boost up our zombies really big. Okay, yeah, that's good. He's locking down. Aqua Forest. I think that boosts water monsters up by like 600. If I remember correctly. Yeah, dude, I got some weird knowledge of this game, okay? Like, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it did. Okay. R1 is graveyard. I think it was 600, was what it boosted it up by. Yeah, all water monsters by 600. That's so weird. Oh, there's Chimera. The reason I put Chimera in the deck is because I love the Chimera deck. That's why I did it. Plus, you can do funny stuff like this. Now it's a zombie. Now it's gonna also get boosted by Pumpkin. Oh, 
I haven't looked at the thoughts on Into the Light and new. I haven't looked into the new announcements about Final Shape. I have looked into the announcements, however, of Into the Light. Into the Light looks awesome. Okay, Meku, you're kind of scaring me. You're kind of like making everything move forward, and I don't really like that. I don't. I don't like that at all. Um. I really don't like that. That's that's really scary that he would just move everything forward like that. I mean, if this swings here, he's gonna lose that monster. Yeah, he's gonna lose that one. Let's check out Chimera attacking. I don't. I haven't unlocked Red Eyes yet. When I duel Joey, I'll get a chance to unlock Red Eyes. That is the ugliest looking fish I have ever seen in my life. That was gross. Ew. Ew. I'm so glad that Chimera headbutted it. Okay, let's see if he three flips. Yep, there it goes. What? It just moved. Okay. Ooh, whatever that is, it's larger than Chimera. We did draw Monster Reborn. We did draw Monster Reborn. That's pretty helpful. Is it just when it gets attacked or when it flip face up? Teleport to an opponent's summoning area when this card's flip face up. When this card is flip face up battles, it's flip face up cancel that battle. So now it's just a vanilla. It's a weird looking dog. Hold up. I don't think I can make skull a gun. Can't throw a snake here though. Move that dude out of the way. We'll just swing there. Yeah, I did get I did go for the White Rose team because I've already beaten the other side so far. Okay, so we got rid of that. Now we're gonna pass. So this one's a little bit more of a decisive duel, in my opinion. Like, you've got to be a little bit more picking and choosing as you go. Furious Seeking. Okay, so that's just going to get eternally spellbound right there. Which is fine. I don't know why I skipped that. I'm going to try and not skip a lot of the fights in this game, so you guys can see the fights, actually. Okay, let's see. I'm going to lay that right there. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've upgraded the deck quite a lot with traps. Yes, you do need to mine the field. That's what I've been, like, yep, see right there, look. Aha! I knew that was huge. Aqua Dragon's one of the highest attack point monsters he has. One more turn and that thing's gonna be huge. Uh, we might just power it up. Yeah, we'll just have a really big armored zombie that we're going to go in with. And he's eternally spellbound, so we can wait it out a little bit. Yeah, we're going to have to wait that one out one more turn. At the end of his turn, it'll get unspellbound. But that's fine, because then I can just swing in. And I'll get it. See, there you go. And now we're going to boost up to 26. We punch here. 
and that'll be fine, because that'll deal with the Aqua Dragon. There's the, there's the Skeleton. Okay. So, we don't need this, we don't need this, and we don't need... We do need that. We kind of need the Skeleton. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get rid of Aqua Dragon, because before he switches it to defense position or something... I do find it funny that I'm using Chimera in here, in this game. Because, like, competitively right now, that's what I play as Chimera. I play Illusion Chimera. Yeah, TCG do be looking kind of funny in here, right? Okay, so we haven't seen, we haven't seen Kairushin yet, so he's down to 18 cards, so we're kind of like dealing with that really quickly. I wanted to see if you would do Whale Fortress. Okay, let's see. I feel like zombies are the best strategy in this game. Ooh, there we go. Hold on a sec. Now they're all going up by 200. Uh, this is fine. I'll just keep boosting him up to get larger than that Sea King. Put something in between that Pumpkin and the rest of his monsters. What in the world is he doing? Uh, we are getting the new Lightsworn stuff in the TCG probably in... We're gonna get it on like the 26th of December, not December, this month. I'm gonna start moving in with Chimera. feel pretty comfy with a 29. Okay, so that's larger than 2,000. Great to know. Okay, so he's kind of sort of running away from the... He's kind of sort of running away. Does this make Twin Headed Thunder Dragon? I don't even know. I don't know if that makes Twin Headed Thunder Twin Headed. And put him right there. Another Aqua Dragon. Ooh. Another Aqua Dragon. That's two of them that Chimera's taken out. Good job, Chimera. Yeah. I really like the, um, I feel like Tear and Lightsworn were, like, made for one another. Like, Tear Limit and Lightsworn are really good together. Okay. I bet you he switches that thing into the defense position. Whatever it is. Oh, that's a lot of stuff he's moving. He made some sort of fusion. Kicked his whole hand. He's running. Move up one. I'll move up one. It's fine. God, we have a 4200 attack point armored zombie. Man eating shark. If you had to pick a deck to play with, uh, to play for, uh, four-way duels, what deck would be best? Mm. 
full floodgate, Eldridge. Full floodgate, Eldridge. I don't think that they're gonna hit that light sworn baby dragon thing. Amazonas of the Sea. He fused all that stuff into one Amazonas of the Sea. That's all he did. All that for one Amazonas of the Sea. Yeah, I would play if I was playing like four way duels. It would be hands down floodgate outage. And the reason that is, is because all the floodgates would affect everybody, but wouldn't affect me. And what I mean by full floodgate eldridge is like three summon limit, three skill drain, one goes in one rivalry, stuff like that. Because then you just have a 3500 attack one boss monster on the field, and they, they, they really don't get past that. Hmm. I think he's gonna keep running. Excuse me? Yeah, three evenly as well. What? Did that thing just match my attack point? Yeah, it did. Yeah, Eldridge would be bad in the Light Swarm deck with milling. That was a ditto imposter. It was. Well, I guess we get to find out if this makes Twin Head of Thunder Dragon now, don't we? It does not. Alright, well, I guess we just uh, make that move up. That was a shame, but whatever. gonna make the duel longer. I should just go get him with Pumpkin. Like Pumpkin's at like four thousand now. Oh man. <laughs> I could just throw burning land. Oh, I'm about to make him sad. I think it's like, what, four? Yeah, I think that, that should be fine, right there. Yeah, and I'm not playing in the water no more. If you like Master Rule, people are playing meta, 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 and meta. Yeah, they're playing Snake Eye. Third one. Third one just went down. Third Aqua Dragon this dude has thrown at me. Although I will say, he has been a little bit more, like if I wouldn't have played this closer to like holding my monsters tighter and like not been so aggressive, this would have gone really weird. This duel would have gone really bad for me. If you want to make a rank 8 Labyrinth deck, play um, the Horus package in it. As long as you don't like get locked into like... As long as you can avoid getting locked into Fiends right off the bat, you, you should be fine. Okay. So the, see, the thing is about the zombies is like the longer the duel goes, 
with zombie monsters, the worse this is gonna get for him. Especially when I can do this and essentially end the game. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that, that's pretty much it. That's GG. That should be game. Snake Eye Brandon doesn't really have any synergy at all. Fire King is meta. Oh, does that mean there's only like three skulls? Three of those? No, there's not. Okay. I know I'm not gonna hit three in a row, so we're just gonna go boop and boop and boop. There you go. We almost did. We almost did. Let's pull the water out of the ether. Yeah, because Fire King is meta. Yeah, you are something else. I've never dreamed I'd lose a duel in the sea. I guess I promised is a promise. I'll deliver you to the shores of... Oh, every time I look at it, I think it says baloney. Every time. Success! You've entered France. and there's Joey okay now Joey is interesting because Joey does have red eyes and he does have time I think it has time wizard I think time wizards in this game okay I'm Joey I am Joey duelist I believe you've been looking for me no I haven't in England I'm known as Christopher how did you get Joey? How did you get Joey from Christopher? Huh? But I'll be best remembered as the Slayer of the Rose Duelist. Okay. I would not play triple, uh... I would not play triple lady and double lovely. I would play two one. Lovely is a brick. Oh, look. Perfect. My side of the field. My side of the field. Definitely. Also, note that he has flame swordsman as his boss. That's kind of cool. He's moving up really aggressively. Like, right off the bat aggressively. I wonder if that's a red eye. It can't be a red eye. It's got to be a level 4 something. See, Melons is just not where I play here. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and snipe that card. It was a panther warrior. Dude, that was a panther warrior.
Oh, you're from the UK. That's cool. Okay, so we dealt with the Panther Warrior. That's pretty good. Galagon in defense. Let's see. I feel like that's probably the best option here is to throw that. He's moved all the way over on the tomb. I know he doesn't have any tomb monsters. I know he does not have any tune monsters. I know that for a fact. Let's see. Wood remains. See, everything I've got is, except for you, is already zombie. So, like, that doesn't really help. I don't really need these that much. We'll just get rid of both of these. What? Shadow Ghoul and Shadow Ghoul don't fuse? We do not move across mountain. We do not do that. I will wait. I'm looking for a pumpkin, yo. I don't know where he thinks he's going. Take the bear trap and slide it over here. See, I'm not worried about whatever that thing is that's on tune terrain. Where is he going? Okay, the reran maybe, I think works well on tune terrain, I think. It's weird that they have reran and they oh that's a pretty cool looking attack too. That was cool. Can we have a reran retrain, please? Like can I have a reran retrain or we like have a new version of it? If you could play any game for a month, but you can't, it would be this game. It, Silent Arcane, it'd be this game. Every time. Every time somebody asks me that, like if there's a game you could only play for the rest of your life, what would it be? It'd be like this. This game. Okay. Let's see. Shadow Spell. Shadow Spell do be kind of strong. Kind of just waiting it out with Joey. I would have imagined they would have put Joey in way later in here. I'm like, have toughened him up a little bit. Surprise, Garuzis. Is he trying to like lap around behind me? Is that what we're doing here? I really feel like that's what he's trying to do here. I don't need these. I don't need really any of those. Hmm. He is quite large. Oh, 
back a little bit. I wonder if he's gonna walk into the bear trap. Everything's going pretty good, Jason. We're just hanging out. I'll go ahead and throw a Mesmer at control. Excuse me. An anti trap card. What? No, not worth it. Not worth it. Air trap do be strong. Would he attack with an 1100 attack point monster, though? Like, for real. It's crazy. Shift that back to defense. Should have probably swung with that. I'm just gonna walk over one of these. I really am just gonna walk over one of those. Okay, now he's gonna have to come through a tune to get to me. Which I don't think he's gonna do. Okay, now we wait. I don't think, I don't think you're afraid the Iron Knight is in this game. Card pool is really weird in this game. Okay, now we're getting boosts. Cool. Are you serious? Okay. I mean, I'll do 250. And then when he destroys it, I'm just gonna snipe a card. Oh my god. Get rid of it, dude. Dude, come on, get rid of it. Here, other Skullagon, get as powerful as your brother. Did that make a match? Yeah, that made a match. So I got two 3100 attack points Skullagons. He's gonna attack that thing with Garuzis. It's gonna destroy the Garuzis. Yep, saw that coming. Now, once he attacks with the Garuzis, I will end up, um... Yeah, it, it's up until right before, I think, Battle City. I think it's just Duelist Kingdom. But it's weird because, like, they don't have Buster Blade in here. They don't have, like, Jinzo in here. I know they were played during Battle City, but still. Like, you'd imagine that since they were released... Like, they don't even have Relinquish in this game. They don't have Tomb Blue Eyes. Like, no Tomb Blue Eyes, no Relinquish, no Thousand Eyes Restrict, no Thousand Eyes Idol. None of those cards are in the game. It's mostly that. Yeah, it's mostly first, first like, area of the, of the series. I know that those were part of Battle City, but the reason I'm saying it is because it's kind of odd to me that they wouldn't put anything from Battle City in this game at all. Because they they have a perfect opportunity to put, like, Buster Blader at least in here. 
or something like that. But they didn't put any of those. Because those were released in Pharaoh's Servant. Surprise, that was nothing. Definitely waiting it out. Ooh, that was bad. That was bad for him. Like that card, the ninja card that he just attacked me with, that card's in the original Yugi deck. No joke. It is a level 5 vanilla with 1700 attack. Every card in the game, you have to destroy it in order for it to pop up. Oh my god, I can just swing directly. Is that enough to... Oh, yeah. That's plenty to get in. And we beat Joey. Because he left himself wide open. What a Joey thing to do. <laughs> what a Joey thing to do. Wood Remains got promoted. Okay, we're just going to aim for like a flame sword one. That was not a flying sword. That was also not a flying sword. Hey, three in a row! <laughs> the one time I get three in a row, it is nothing! Oh, the likelihood. Okay. It looks like I underestimated you. Uh, that's, that's it. Okay. That was a while ago. Okay. Okay, so it's actually gonna be this, which is gonna be, um, this is supposed to be shoddy. Unless we meet duelist. You have sold the roots of justice with your betrayal. Your mind lacks the seeds of truth. I judge you unworthy, and I will punish you here now. Should you, should the power of your mind be weak, and you're destined to fail before me, fall before me. That's what I loved about Shoddy's voice in the anime. He was so, like, calm and mysterious. Hey, Dark Arm, uh, what was your opinion on the Illusion Spellcaster Singer Archetype Whitewood? I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna be really. I keep opening monster every time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is like try and get over here, I guess. We have to be kind of careful with him because all of these like crush guard spots are really, really bad. But we did already establish pumpkin. Did already establish Fun King. Make sure you guys are liking the stream too. It really does help the channel. Thirteen fifty seems pretty good on Crush Card. It's such a weird field. Like this is such a weird field to play. Okay, so I'm gonna get the boost and then I'm swinging into whatever that is. Oh, this was 1450. Oh my god. 
Chris Garfield's awesome. Clown Zombie is really weird looking. It dealt with it, but, you know, next turn, Pumpkin's gonna boost it. Yeah, he has the scale, and he has the key. Yeah, he had two. I'm so sorry for what's about to happen to you. I'm not gonna let it happen, I'm just gonna step on it. Okay, we're gonna wait right there. We're just gonna hold there. What was you guys' favorite Millennium item? Like, if you could have one Millennium item, which one would it be? I probably would have had the Millennium... I would, I would have probably wanted the Millennium Eye, but I feel like it would have been really bad to, like, walk around with the Millennium Eye all the time. Like, you can't take it out. I'm gonna try and crowd him, I guess. I guess that's the best way to handle this. Five fifty. That thing had five fifty. Yeah, I was thinking either the, the, see, the, the rod seems cool. The rod seems really, really cool. But the problem is with the Millennium Rod is that it only, like, to me, with the Millennium Rod, all it seemed to do was, like, turn games into shadow games. Which seemed kind of, in my opinion, not great. Coming on attack. Oh, that's a shame. So that's why I was like, maybe, maybe the eye would be better because with the eye you could like mind read. Can you imagine how beneficial that would be to be able to mind read? Dude had 50 more attack than my defense. Yeah, but like, what was the Millennium... Did I just get... Why did you walk onto Crush Card with that? Oh, you can, that's right, it has mind control. Oh yeah, I picked the Millennium Rod. Yeah, I'd probably pick Millennium Rod. By the way, that card, Serpentine Princess, is about to be really good with the new Riker cards that are coming out. That card's gonna be insane. That card. Serpentine Princess, so good. And... I don't have one very large pumpkin. Okay. So, we could put this here and then boost up Zombie Dragon quite a lot and start pushing. Okay, there was nothing there. Okay. 
Yes, I have strategically placed myself in the middle. Kind of curious to see what that is. Control Joey and let Joey lose him. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I would I would pick Millennium Rod. No. Stop it. No burn damage. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh really now? I think blue eyed is a silver zombie. I think what it does is I think it like Yeah, no, it turns into like a sword, which is weird. Oh. <laughs> Man. So guys, we're going to try and get to 50 likes on this stream. We're going to try and get to 50 likes, and we're almost at 20 now. Okay, we're going to throw this here. And I feel like the gazelle, or the berthamet, whatever. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. God, what is that? That thing has 3,500 attack points. What in the world? What do you even do? Are you just, you're not a vanilla. The power of all pyro monsters increased by 500 while this card is in face of defense position. My God. Good thing I'm gonna win. Good thing it didn't matter. You know, full zombie deck. You just don't expect a random chimera to swing directly. That is a lot of salamanders. That was a lot of salamandras. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. It would seem that all is lost. Hey, I really appreciate the, uh, the donation. I really appreciate that. The super. But such is not the case. I have only just begun. Do you think you're powerful enough in your mind to face me too bad i already got your rose card okay any advice for an upcoming Yu youtuber yes i do have some advice for upcoming Yu youtubers i usually anybody who asks me before i go into this next tool which i think is grandpa moto yeah okay so any advice for a up and coming youtuber is make sure that your content is consistent make sure that you have a really good camera look for your audio quality audio quality is key because if you turn if you click on any video the first thing people are going to look at is your lighting your audio quality and your uh, video quality um i record mainly off of a phone which um you can get a really good phone that has good like video quality the majority of phones now have really good quality for videos so like use a phone for your video when you start I still like using a phone because it's portable, it's easy to hook up to my computer, it's very easy to get the, like, all the stuff off the computer, it's very nice. Um, you can easily get, like, a tripod off of, um, like, Amazon or eBay for, like, ten bucks and start that way. Like, you don't have to start really expensive, 
you can even start your channel if you wanted to based around like one deck like your favorite deck you can just like a lot of Yugi tubers do that they start like oh my god i love branded or oh my god i love Alter guys, sir. I really like the Armored XZ package, and they try and shove that package into different decks as much as they can. So, like, you can start that way if you want to start that way and then branch out. But make sure that you pick something that's consistent that you can renew the content over and over again. That's like when me doing deck profiles, I, I can make deck profiles every three, six, nine a year, like for like three, six, nine months. I, I can make a deck over and over again. But make sure, again, most important thing, consistency. Upload, like, at least once or twice a week. When you start, once or twice a week. Uh, make sure that your lighting is pretty good. You can get ring lights at, like, any, any like, Amazon, eBay, Walmart, any place like that. Um, make sure that your audio quality is good. Okay? That you don't have an echo. You can fix that by, like, not having blank space in the room that you're recording in and make sure that you're consistent like or not consistent make sure that your um audio or your video quality is good where like it doesn't look like a potato also one other thing that's very 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 important make sure you have a play mat when you record play mats you can get any play mat you can go to anywhere get a play mat for like 20 bucks anywhere like it's gonna cost like maybe like 50 bucks to start tripod lights and a uh play mat those are the three things that I would recommend you picking up and then work with a phone to begin with. Work with whatever your cell phone you've got and record off of that to begin with. Okay, so back to the game. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And I'm doing pretty good. I appreciate you asking. Also, I was wrong about Joey lost his red eyes before Battle City began uh, to... Yeah, he did. He lost right at the beginning of Battle City. It was literally right at the beginning of Battle City that he lost it. Okay, so Jasper Dice. I'm <coughs> Dice Tutor. I will show you the true meaning of power. What? I use an iPhone 11 ring light on a desk with an Albaz and Ecclesia playmat, and they only branded. I only do branded Mexi Sister and have the potential to do Leo Romance or Punk. That's how I started. That is literally how- by the way, this duel is going to be really easy because I have Shadow Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul is going to laugh in his face. Because I am going- he's going to be like, what? It just walked through! Yeah, iPhone 11 is fine. Using iPhones, using Androids, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we got to be careful because we can get Exodia from here. We, we totally can get Exodia. And that's dangerous. The terrain does not matter. The terrain is not going to matter. We're not going for Millennium Shield. Millennium Shield. I don't know. That'd be funny. Low key, kind of funny. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna like go for Shadow Ghoul and like throw a Shadow Ghoul in his face. Like, multiple Shadow Ghouls. And see, the problem is, is the minute he loses one piece... Ha, uh, the one piece. The one piece! The one piece is real! The minute that he loses a, uh... <laughs> the minute he loses one Exodia piece, it's game. It is game over. You don't need Bright Castle turn into two-headed thunder dragon? No. See, sometimes it's a dragon-like creature that makes it. But not this time. He's gonna lose his mind when I, turn, when I shove a shadow in there. I'm just gonna throw traps up the right-hand side. I really wish he would just not, like, draw all five pieces. I'm currently in Innie's Lobby. I, I'm, I'm just got to the... I'm near, I think I'm near the end of Annie's Lobby. Which is actually a really fire arc, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's 
That's really good. Shove traps up the, up the right hand side. Just go, 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 get him! Can I draw my Shadow Ghoul, please? That'd be great. So I'm just gonna buff this Shadow Ghoul after he goes in there. Ooh, Pumpkin. Okay, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. Okay, we're gonna throw Pumpkin in defense. Okay, we're gonna throw Pumpkin in defense. We're gonna keep walking up with traps. And we're gonna draw a Shadow Ghoul, turn it into Wall Shadow, let it sit there, and then boost him up. That's the plan. Yeah, he only needs four of the pieces. Because he's already got the head of Exodia as his deck master. Where are you? Okay. Where are you? Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. So we can turn the Shadow Ghoul in the whatever it is into a uh, zombie. Because we need to turn it into a zombie. He potentially has two pieces. He potentially has two. That's fine. I'll just let it sit there. I don't care. We're, just, we're, we're looking for Shadow Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul is our cheat code for this, for this duel. It's so unfair. There it is. Okay. I'm going to put it right here. And then we're going to turn it into a zombie. Because it turns into a warrior for some reason. Okay, we're going to pump up one. He's going to be like, what? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it into a zombie. And then we're going to boost it with our cards. Because I have three dark energies in my hand. I don't care if your monsters get, like, what, 900 points larger in defense points. Okay. Let's turn him into a zombie. We didn't draw another one, unfortunately. Actually, wait a minute. Can we... Can we reborn it? Okay, we have... One, two... Three... Four... Five. Oh, we got five. Okay. We'll just wait. We'll wait. It is so simple. I love it. I've actually been thinking about doing, like, some duels with the old school structure decks, like the original ones, because I have all the cards for it. I just haven't, like, put them together. Jesus, those are getting big. I don't think he's going to get all the pieces because he has... All those are monsters back there, just about. I'm so sorry, little one. Okay. Hold that shadow rule. So I can have two of them. Shadow Ghoul did not skip arm day. I'm tempted, but I don't want to instantly lose. Because those things, I think, are going up by like 900 apiece. Yeah. So they're up 1,800 each. That's crazy. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not cool. Okay. Okay. So we got rid of that. We don't need that anymore. There's a bunch of traps this dude has. Bandanites are not bad. They're not bad now. Oh my god.
I'll let him see it. I don't care. He ain't gonna do nothing about it. We are halfway there on our likes, by the way. So definitely like the stream, guys. No, don't burn me. Ukazi for game. Only this 500 in this game. Whoa. They nerfed Ukazi in this game. It does 800 in regular Yu Gi Oh! He's going to eventually start running. Time seal. Please tell me that didn't permanently lock that down. Because if it did, I'm going to be big sad. Please tell me that was just a time. Sucks. That really sucks. That's okay, this other show will deal with him. Stop burning me, old man. Shadow Ghouls. We're gonna push him back. He's gonna bump back, and then I'm gonna bump forward, and I'm gonna bump back, and then he's gonna bump to the right, and I'm gonna chase him down this way. And then he's gonna eventually run into my traps. About what I thought was gonna happen. It was a good strategy until time seal hit. like that. Okay. He's gonna bump back and forth. Okay. Alright, old man. If you wanna play like this, we can. Who with the board coming back? Burn cards. Zodiac cards. Spell that in there. Like, we gotta get one in there. Solomon's Law Book. Ironic, because his name is Solomon Leto. Okay. Please don't tell me. Please. 
Okay, we're at least gonna make him, like, step on it. Whatever it is. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of this. It won't move onto the square, but it'll at least get rid of it. And then start pushing a zombie in there. I really hope he doesn't shift those in defense position. That would suck. Yep, I knew he was gonna step on it. Is he gonna shift everything in the defense position? Because I don't think he attacks with anything. Yep. Immediately shifts to defense. Play three. Oh, we do play three. Okay, you step on you. You infiltrate right there. You can lock him down. We can. We can. Do, we can still do this this way. Just in case. Just in case. I hate that it's mountains. Zombies do not do good on mountain. defense injection variability 3300 33 jeez <laughs> 50 life points oh it's cuz injection variability leads in defense what are you doing? Where are you running? to keep moving to the right. Like, he has to do it. him out of his own fort. Yeah, we're gonna do it that way. We're just gonna lock him out of his own area. Oh, I know. I know the more his deck depletes, the higher probability he has for Exodia. I know. I'm terrified right now. That's why I'm pushing him over to, like, the other side. So my two wall shadows can get in there. He's not playing anything else, so I'm assuming he's, like, locked down.
Okay, we're gonna move here. Now he's stuck. Now he's stuck. Those are probably like three draft cards. Yeah, deck out does not get bought in. You have to have no cards and no cards in the deck, too. I'm really sorry to do this to you, Skelligon. I really don't want it, but I really have to. Because now they're getting boosted. The whole loss on Mountain kind of sucks, but hey, whatever. We are getting him now. How long? One cool. Then we can also deal with the injection fairy lily now. He's messed up. How many pumpkins? Uh one deck master, two in deck. Dark World Puppetry is pretty good. That was actually my 10th... That was actually my 10th super for the uh, channel. That was cool. I appreciate that, Slave. Puppetry is pretty good. Puppetry is actually pretty good. Um, it's a good one of, I think. I don't think I've played it any more than one. So I don't really mind the card that much, to be honest. How many do you think you reached fly? One or two? Because I know you're like the Dark World, like, low-key best Dark World player. Oh, he's just going to sit there and take it. Oh, he's just gonna sit there and take it. That must be an Exodia piece in front of him. Dude, Wall Shadow's just gonna give it to him. Fine, we can play that way. Pass. Okay, come on. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. All you gotta do is swing one more time. He passes, we win. We win. Yeah, we set one. God. That was so good. I can't believe we did that. No promotions. That's fine. I think Labyrinth Wall Shadow should have got a promotion, but hey, whatever. Secret Art. Phantom D1. Okay. We did not let him get it. No, Yugi's not next. You may have been me, but I doubt you'll survive a duel with my nephew. Yugi. Nephew? 
That's your grandson. Oh, he forgot. <laughs> okay. Next is Bakora. And I have to go in and fix my deck. Because his is like 750. So I gotta drop the deck down by quite a lot. Let's go ahead and save really fast. I mean, I know two cards I'm already gonna drop. And that's these two dragons right here. Okay, so we're gonna drop those. We're not dropping Pumpkin, that's non-negotiable. We can drop, I guess, the Chimera. We can drop the Thunder Dragon. We can drop the Monster Reborn. We have a Reincarnation. I don't feel as though I need Millennium Golem. We may tank the Millennium Golem. Let's get rid of the Millennium Golem. It's just a vanilla 2000. A Gigantino Megami. We already had that. A second Gigantino Megami. We're gonna go three for three. And a DC Shark. That was not good. When this card is flipped face up, all your opponent's monsters with thousand attack. All of your own monsters with thousand blow attack increase by thousand. Okay, so let's go check out our zombies. See if we got any low zombies we can put in there. I wish I could put more clown zombies, but I don't. I can't. Okay, so we just gotta put in some like crap cards that we can like kick. He's like 70 or 57, I think it's like 57 is what it is. I think. I think that's what it is. Okay. So let's throw in something that we can like that's close to like 14. It's definitely nice one of. It's okay to target for uh for foolish rare goods and it's uh apparently effect is okay. At best, get rid of a lot of annoying stuff in the grave. I think it's pretty decent right now with graveyard heavy decks running around, especially with Snake Eye running around. I really think that it's a pretty decent card to play. Cancels all pack power increases. I'm not gonna play that. That's that, that, that. Sure, good one. Okay. Let's not good either. Okay, so he plays on Forest. Okay, so I know he plays Forest. So Beast Warriors are gonna be pretty decent, or Beast. So I kinda wanna put that and then something, but that puts me over. I really don't wanna get rid of Shadow Spell. Let's put another five card in, if I've got another five card. Because he plays with primarily plants. Is that a beast warrior? Any kind of beast warrior. Let me have... Uh, <laughs> This is what's tough, is trying to figure out how to build a deck to fight somebody, because you have to have the same deck cost. Or at least close. I guess I'll just do it this way. This should show me the lowest deck cost thing. I can put in one of these. I'm not going to summon it. I can put in the hideous oh, let's put in the hideous caterpillar. Put in the hideous caterpillar. No dancing else. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Um We gotta get it down by like 13, I think. I think it's 13 is what I need to drop it by. Uh, 
stuff. Pick something else that's a little closer to like that. God, I'm one over. I, th I think I'm one over. It was like what, 13? I need like a 10 or a 12. That was 13. That's wind monsters. in there. Let's put, let's put potato rock. We'll put potato rock. Okay. Whoa, that was a lot. Alright, so. Fact of the matter is Dark Worlds when it's working is to ruin your opponent's day before it's even their turn. Uh, it can also just outlast Fire King. Droll is like 100%. Yeah, it is. Okay. Was I right? Yeah, 557. Okay, cool. So we can actually do one. Then we gotta go back in and fix our deck because we can do it against Yugi. So you're the <clears throat> So you're the one. They call the Rose Duels. I'm Bakura. A card winner. There was a time when some knew me as Jack A. Or Mortal. You stand on Count Song, where Card Duel has been passed on for generations and in particular, my family has mastered the art of the dark duel. Well, shall we begin? I feel like he sounds a lot cooler with like a Batman voice. Okay, so here we go. Perfect. Dude has 1450, that's why I threw him in here. Also, he gains like 50 life points every turn because of his dark plan. Because of this, like, deck master. Yeah. Uh, which one do you prefer to be an inboard for great guys? Blue has ultimate alternative or dragon? Uh, probably the new dragon master. The new dragon master is really good. You're getting right up in there. The three? No. Okay, we're gonna box him in. I'm just gonna immediately box him in. Just immediately box him in. I wanna do what you're getting. Uh, which tax dragon would win in terms of appearance? Blackwing Assault Dragon. Hands down. Dude, I don't even care what he, like, plays. I'm just chasing him down. <laughs> I'm cornering him. God, I'm just cornering this poor soul. Oh my god, they're all zombies. Just the graveyard hand, just backhands him. I love how he says he's mastered the Dark Duel and I know you're just cornering him. I need something with 1850 anyway. No, that's 18. Skeleton will do it. Poor Bakora, right? I've never beaten him that fast. I have never beaten him that fast. Ever. Never have I beaten him that fast. In my entire life. That was ridiculous. I just walked in and was like, Oh, 
Your whole family is the master of the dark duel. You're like a prodigy of dueling. You know, it'd be a real shame. Zombies. That'd be a real shame. Zombies would be a really shame. Real shame right now. Yeah, it probably won't. The magic hub. Well, dude, the alternative ultimate isn't available in Master Luther. No, no way. I warn you, your next field of battle will be your last. Be prepared to meet your maker. Dude, dude, I... I walked through you. I literally walked through him. Okay, this is Yugi. This is Yugi right here. Okay. You know what's sad, though? Yugi's actually kind of easy. He's actually really easy to beat. Okay, so we're going to take out... I mean, with a little bit of prep, he's pretty easy to beat. Uh, we're definitely getting rid of all three of these big traps. What does this even do? When this card is destroyed in battle, all adjacent spaces are transformed to crush card terrain. Okay. So it's an okay card. I need more zombies. I need a lot more zombies. Oh, it's like my camera. Yeah, dude, you just saw me walk through Bakora. Like, I literally just walked through him. Like, he, he definitely is easier than Bakora, usually. Usually. I don't want to win with burn damage. Fun fact, this card is actually the only card in the game that had to have a, like, changed effect. Approaching darkness or darkness approaches because it would flip monsters into face down attack position back in the old school days Weird, huh? What am I missing? I'm missing three cards I think it's my thunder cards Hmm, excuse me Okay we're allowed to yawn in between duels. Okay, that ought to do. I remember when in, uh, I was like, I remembered I was like 50 wins, zero losses against you because I won, uh, he's Regeki, Dark Magician, and Dark Magician Girl. Yeah. Yeah. So you finally come to face me, duelist. I hope you're as good as they say. Because the better the duelist, the better the game. Um. Okay. Please let me open up Tom King. That would be the best. Although he has the best soundtrack, I have to say. Oh my god, he was the first card! I called it! Oh, it's the first card in my hand! Please let me open up Pum King. Immediately opens up Pum King. God, I can't believe that. I called it. Can we have some likes for that? Pumpkin emotes? Pumpkin emotes in the chat? Oh my god. God, I can't believe that. That's so crazy. I did not know that was the original Yugi theme. Hmm. We could turn it into the Shadow Ghoul of the Labyrinth or whatever it is. I did not know that. That's pretty cool.
put bear trap right here. Definitely put bear trap right there. Pardon me. Well, I have bear trap, so it doesn't matter. When he swings, I will just go. Okay, let's line up all three of our Pond Kings. Yep. We got all three of them. Just immediately all three Pond Kings. What a better way to beat you than this, with the way that I've played through this game. Go on, tag me directly. Bear Trap's gonna go off. Yep, bye Silver Fang. Fun fact, there's actually a card that has the exact same stats as Silver Fang called Wolf. Okay, we're gonna lay this here right beside me. All my pumpkins over on the other side of the arena mocking Yugi like. They're all mocking him like, what you gonna do? We're powering up all our zombies over here. Dude, look at him. Look at him all. Look at all these. Look at all these goofballs. No, 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 we're not. Yeah, he usually does put Regeki, like, right here, I think. We can get another zombie out. We'll just get this. Yeah, I am gonna mine the mirror force because he does have mirror force. Nice thing is, is both my pump kings are in defense. That was not what I expected. I did not expect that to be a Gaia. Oh my god! But cool and nostalgic. But oh my god! That's cool. That was a pretty neat attack, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty early for Gaia. But it's only sitting at 23 because it's on Sojin or Meadow. So when it moves over and swings, it'll lose. Oh, we're gonna move him. I'm gonna keep that. I'm also keeping this back here just in case. Just in case. He tries to throw, um. Oh god, what is it called? Um. Regeki. We really need to deal with that. I know it's gonna lose because of the um, crush card, but that's fine. I kinda just wanna get it out of there. I kinda just wanna deal with the Celtic Army and be done with it. Uh. 
because now he's gonna have to like technically swing through like he'd have to walk across the crush bar with the guy to get to my life point and he won't Now he's gonna swing in with Gaia into the Skelegon. Yeah, there we go. Which he's gonna lose the Gaia. Which I think he just turned off the ability to make Blackluster Soldier. Because I think you have to have Gaia plus Karibo plus something else to make it. I have rewatched the original series recently. I have rewatched the original series recently. Like, DM. seeing the Skullagon. Just got my ass there. Boost up the Skullagon a little bit. Oh, what? It's a feral limb. As long as you watch the, um, Battle City Arc, you're probably fine. Then you could probably skip to Millennium World and be okay after that. Nope, I'll move up. I keep resisting the urge to move up because I really want to, like, leave all of them right here together. All three of the Plum Kings together. out of my hand. I'm going after that barrel. Huh? I liked the sealed work Alco's arc. I really liked the Seal Heart Cosmo Heart as a kid. I did rewatch it recently, and it is kind of slow. Well, maybe not slow. Maybe more plot holes. Like, to me, it has a lot of plot holes. Like, why am I turned evil? Like, I get why am I went to the bad side, but, like, it's kind of silly. Why she went to the bad side, in my opinion. Are we gonna be Gaia like are we gonna be a, a Gaia and a Marilyn? Like what, Gaia Farrell and Celtic Guardian, that's it. Zombies most overpowered archetype in this game. Let's go. Giant Soldier of Stone. Battle City is the finest art. That, that Battle City is a masterpiece. The only thing I wish they would have done was shown more of like Kaiba dueling in Battle City. Like actually give him a challenge to fight. Like I think he only dueled Loomis and Umbra. And like one rando. Like, to actually get his invite. That would have been neat. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna move up. That was great. Thanks, Yugi. Really appreciated that.
I had to move him up so I could put that. Oh no! Oh no! Please don't. Get sniped, dude. Gemini elves. You don't see that very often. That's one of Slade's favorite cards. Very old school card. Very good card, too. I wish they would retrain that. Because they just, like, just today retrained Cosmo Queen. Too bad they're laughing right now, but then, you know, it's not even. Oh, there's the summon skull. Found it. Found it. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Summon Skull is one of the coolest vanillas ever created and is also the most like neglected ace monster of any player in the entire game. And it's so cool. Like Summon Skull is such a cool card. Like you cannot tell me that card does not look awesome. But yet they don't they don't give it support. Like, they have not given it support since Fist of the Gadget. Okay. How are we handling that? Let's see. I guess we're gonna have to kick a bunch of cards. Even hope to start looking at the end of that sun skull. Uh oh. Thank God for Magic Jammer. Oh my God, thank God for Magic Jammer. Crush card is gonna be nice. So when I'm ready, I can get in there. That was a close save. Okay, so here's the deal. If he has Mirror Force set, if he doesn't have Mirror Force set, I could win right now. Okay, we committed. We committed to it. If he doesn't have Mirror Force set, we win. It connected. Okay, we win. Woo! We won. Cool. Beating Taya's ace card that he has. We got that. We beat you. I believe we beat Yu Yu, but we beat Yu Yu like that, that quick. That summon skull is staring me down right beside me. Okay, we can get Dark Magician. Gaia. Beaver Warrior. Whoa! 
Oh, we got Louise. It's okay. Thank you. I appreciate you loving the thumbnail. Gemini Alpha. Okay. That's fine. Yugi actually is a really good pool to, like, fight against because he has some pretty decent cards. I lose. Know you this. Although the rose cards are lost to me, I shall not falter from my cause. On the graves of my Celtic ancestors, I swear I will one day rule over all of England. But not today. You have all the rose cards. It is time to head for Stonehenge. Uh-oh. Here we go. The ritual is complete. The power. The world. With all, the, all the power of the cards behind us. All will be ours for the taking. The time has come to realize the dreams of my ancestors. We're gonna give him a real, like, dumb voice. Here we go. Are you ready? Like the other one. I think he's the same guy. So, yeah. Long have I waited for this day. You are the one responsible for this. First, you dare to summon my sleeping brother from his eternal resting place in the sands of Egypt? That was Nightmare in the previous game, because it's technically the sequel to Duel Forbidden Memories. Using him, using him duel after duel? And then you dare to steal him away again? Unforgivable! It looks like I failed again. What's new, Pat? What's that? Hold your tongue. There's no room for excuses. Nothing escapes my eyes. I demand justice. I shall feed on you and your kind. On every last one of you who exists on this miserable planet. It's up to you, duelists. This evil that's awakened can only be laid to rest by you. Only by defeating this vile creature will you be able to undo the summoning. At least, that's what the legends say. Quiet, mortal. It's time to avenge my brother. Uh, okay. So, I will be right back. And then we're going to go into the final duel of this... of this awesome playthrough. So, we may do some grinding after this. So... Just for funsies. So anyways, I will be right back. One second, guys.
Okay, duels. Let's do this. We're going into the final duel. Let's have a sip of some water. And let's lay this dude to rest. Could have worded that better. Prepare to, uh, <clears throat> prepare to meet your doom. Prepare to meet your doom. <laughs> Such menacing. Oh god, this is the one with the dark train. Oh wait, that's fine. I play zombies. That I didn't open. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta say, Chakra would be a really cool, like, like this dude right here would be a really cool illusion monster retrain. Gotta say. Okay, so we're gonna start laying down zombies. We're gonna start laying down zombies. We are in the final battle right now. That's currently what's going on. We are not one sun coming. Wood remains is tempting, but I'm really leaning towards these clown zombies. Okay, we're gonna let him swing in the middle. Which is going to get rid of that monster. I hate the way that card looks. It's so weird. It attacks weird too. Ew. Dealt with that. We're saving the violet crystal. Oh god. This dude makes me nervous. This guy makes me nervous. That might be a meteor black. That could be meteor black, I think. We gotta get rid of that. Okay, the mesmeric control is gonna lock him down. those dudes? Okay. Really need a pumpkin right about now. Let me get rid of these. All of these. I think that makes Skeleton. I'll deal with you in a minute. I really feel like that's Meteor Black over there. I really feel like that's a Meteor Black Dragon. Like, I really feel like that's Meteor Black Dragon. I don't know why, but I really feel like I'm really afraid of that. Please, can I have one more Violet Crystal? Stop stealing my stars. Okay, I think we'll be okay if we do this. I don't think he's gonna play around that. He'll have like 200 life points left. Go get him, Skeleton! Okay, so we dealt with that. Which is 
down to 200 now. I really feel like that's Meteor B. He has used all three of those things. And we're about to find out. We could look at the graveyard, but I kind of just want to swing in and look. Oh, we got our boy. We're going to pumpkin. It is. I was so right. I predicted that. It's a Meteor B. Oh my god, that thing is huge. Holy crap, that thing is huge. My god, Meteor B is humongous. Jeez. No, I totally agree. I think that'd be really cool if we had like a modern day game like this. Like this game, but modern day would be amazing. Force. It's Ryoku. What am I, 2000? It's a blue eyes white dragon. Jesus, we just got rid of a blue eyes and a meteor bee. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. No, but look at the difference between blue eyes. Like blue eyes is big, but it is not meteor black dragon big. Meteor black dragon was huge. Of whatever that is. I really feel like I really feel like that is a labyrinth tank. I tell you what, let's find out. New clown zombie over here, put this here. Risky. Way too risky. We're just gonna make a really large Skeleton and deal with him that way. Okay, he's gonna be a hundred attack points. He should be a hundred attack points higher than that. Than that Labyrinth tank. If it's a Labyrinth tank. Let's see if I read that correctly. I did. I perfectly read. Oh my god, I perfectly read that. I literally said it was at 44 and it's a Labyrinth tank. That's twice I perfectly read this. Okay, so we dealt with the Labyrinth tank. We dealt with the Meteor B. The Blue Eyes is kind of cool. Dude, Skeleton's getting promoted for this. Definitely. He's being MVP this dude. There's a hundred left. There's a hundred life points left. Okay, we're gonna put just in case something weird happens. We're gonna put that there. 
Skeleton is just going in. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything to stop the Skeleton. I really don't think he's going to be able to stop me here. get a pumpkin, another pumpkin, I'll throw the other pumpkin behind me to make it five monsters, but I'm going to leave the two clown zombies on the field. He better play some beside him. Oh, that was a mistake. I can move three. That, that's game. Yep. GG. We won the game. Pumpkins, look at that! Oh, we got all three pumpkins, two the clown zombies, and then we just go wham right there. Do we want to go wham right there, or do we want to do this? Do we want to go ahead and win? Yeah, let's go ahead and win. We may not get another opportunity like that. That technically would have been an OTK. didn't get promoted what he just beat the ultimate darkness of the world put the red eyes on there uh, oh we got red eyes hey we got red eyes cool we actually got a red eyes black dragon Okay. No. No! This is not justice. I cannot lose. Oh my god, this was my first exposure to Yu-Gi-Oh. My brother had the game, and I only remember the cheese looking at the map. Yeah, I know, right? Impossible! No! And he's gone. We won. Yeehaw! The summoning is undone. My family, legend, has it. Legend has it that my family was the one noble line to actually enter into a pact of glory with a card guardian. But sometime in the past, the pact was broken for reasons that are veiled in the mists of history. For generations, our family has searched the world and the hopes for finding the same card guardian to revive the pact and the glory that was once ours. Since that day, I inherited the Book of M at Dunko. I searched far and wide. Many are the guardians. I've awakened only to return them to their resting place. To date, my search for the one true guardian goes unrewarded. You can imagine how excited I was when I come to England and learned of the Rose Duelist legend. Needless to say, the results were acclimated at best. I apologize for dragging you into this. I will honor my promise by returning you to your own age. However, I fear that that is not enough to repay you for your help. Wait. Oh, 
Oh my god, he, his armor is so dripped out. It is. Here, take this back with you. I will continue my in my quest to find the one true guardian. Perhaps it is my destiny to fail, but my descendants shall carry on the search. Should you meet such a descendant of mine, show this rose pendant. For from this day onward, my family is ever in your debt, and will lend whatever support it is within their powers to provide. This I promise as an eternal pledge, a pledge of roses. In the days that followed, the mystic barrier maintained by the sorcery of the cards faded away, leaving England's shores vulnerable to invasion. In August of 1485, Yugi Henry Tudor successfully landed at Melfort Haven, defeating Richard III in the Battle of Bosworth. Yugi was crowned as King Henry the Seventh. The Tudor reign was continued on until Elizabeth I. As for Seto and the Rose Crusaders, they disappeared from England, never to be seen or heard from again. The only record of their existence remains in the form of the inscription card on the back of the Rose Pendant. Man is born to die, but pledge a rose is born to live throughout all eternity. It is a pledge recorded in mystic numbers with a password. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses. The White Rose Chapter. End. And we beat the game. Okay, so... We're not going to end stream here. What we're going to do is I'm probably just going to go play for a little bit on Duels of the Roses and just grind because I love this game just for some funsies. Like, I, I want to see if we can get, like, some other cool cards. I've thought about doing some, like, playthroughs of this game and, like, seeing what else we could, like, unlock. You know what I mean? Like, you still got the Immortal cards that you got to go get, but you have to get, like, Treasure Seeker on one of your, like, deck leaders so it would be beneficial to play the game some more i'll probably go beat bones i know uh -huh. i'll probably go fight against bones and um when i duel against him we'll try and get another pumpkin a fourth pumpkin which should be pretty easy ironically there was pumpkin um but we'll probably try and go duel against bones and see if we can get yeah we truly are duels of roses I'm gonna try and go get the another pumpkin and we'll try and go get some other stuff. But yeah, we beat the game. That was we we technically completed it. But it's not the end. We still can grind on the game, which is cool. And I'm probably gonna do that. There's a Kazajin. We go get all the gate guardian pieces if we wanted to go get all the gate guardian pieces. We could go get uh, more zombie cards to power up our zombie deck. We can go get um, Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician. There's a bunch of stuff that we can still actually go get, which is cool. Slot Machine, that's cool. I wish they would retrain that card. Outside of the card Heavy Metal Raider, Barrel Dragon. And that is the end of the credits, right there. That is the very end of the credits. The credits are super short. Which is insane how few people it actually took to make this game. Okay. So now we're going to continue. And the cool thing is, is now that you've beat the game, or we've beat the game, you can go back in and you can duel against literally anybody in the game. Like the whole map is completely opened up, which is really, really neat. I love that about this game, that it's just so open now that you can duel against anybody that you want to duel which is just really, really neat. So, we're going to go ahead and go back in. We can even go duel against the same dude again if we want to duel against the same dude again to try and get more red eyes. I kind of want to get red eyes and summon skull, but I really think I might go for, um... For red eyes. That's so cool. I'm going to drop this and put red eyes in the deck. Okay, this dude sucks. Terrible. Terrible card. 
Uh, let's grab slip face up the owner of the summoning powers. Yeah, no, ter terrible, terrible play against. Absorb all the power of the opponent's summoning power. Jeez. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a red eyes in there. Post games were rare back then. Yeah, I know. Like it's really, it's really weird. Like we're we're gonna play a little bit more because I just love this game. Like technically we're we're done. We beat the game, but I'm not done because I want to duel bones. But I gotta fix the deck so I don't so I can duel bones. Plus I want to get summon skulls so I can make black skull dragon. So okay, so we're gonna draw a Kaiser dragon. We might have to drop red eyes for right now, which is unfortunate. Drop Chimera. Drop Monster Reborn. Maybe put him in. It's like, what, 7 something? It's like 795, I think is what his dual rank is. Yeah, Forbidden Memories is such a good game. I play Forbidden Memories all the time. Like, I have that. I actually have a, like, hollow version of Forbidden Memories. Okay. So we're gonna go dual bones. While I'm actually loading in, I'll show you that really quickly. I actually have the game case for that. Okay, let me show you this while we're loading. So I actually have this, if you guys can see that, but it's like the actual like game case for Forbidden Memories. Like it's got the game in it and everything, like right here. Like it's got the game in it for Forbidden Memories, but like it's a really cool game. It didn't come with the cards, because I picked it up that one second hand, but like that particular one, but it's really, really neat. I think my green screen might have eaten that, but that's okay. Okay, we don't need these. Okay, let's be real. We know he's going up left side. We know he's gonna go up left side. For us, left side is right side for him. But we cannot beat him until he drops a Thumb King on the field. Mm, yeah. We'll just boost this hub. Also, we have to remember that when you duel against him, he also throws up uh, his, like, zones make it so he has larger attack points in his area. We need to get rid of our hand. This is not a good hand. Yeah, I still have I, uh, the uh, original, like, game in there. It's the original game case. It's everything. And, like, the game is really in good condition, too. Fun fact! This game... Duels of the Roses came with Alpha, Beta, and Gamma, the Magnet Warriors, the original vanilla ones. And Forbidden Memories came with... I think it was... Harpy's Feather Duster, Metal Morph, and uh, Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. I've actually been thinking about making a Metal Morph deck, because I have three of Metal Morph. I think that'd be really neat. Okay, can you drop a pumpkin, please? Please. Okay, so all three of them are monsters. Yeah, there's cards with... There was cards with that one. Every Yu-Gi-Oh! game just about came with cards. There were uh, promos. Fun thing is there was actually one time... At one point, Code Talker, like the deck Code Talker, was almost unplayable because you couldn't get Micro Coder or Cynet Codex outside of a video game until they reprinted it. Couldn't get it. I actually have. The, the ones that I play in my deck for Code Talker are from the video game because I ordered them uh, once that game came out. No, yeah, you got cards with the Game Boy Advance games. Right now, I'm, I'm dueling against Bones. Because we're trying to get another pumpkin.
You know, thinking about it now, we probably should put the magic camera on the field because if he activates Dark Hole, I'm gonna be big sad. I know, I'm fun game. I actually just beat the game, and so we're just kind of playing now. Okay, only problem, this is it's gonna boost his zombies up to me. See which ones are zombies and which ones are not zombies. So that's important to pay attention to. Okay, that one on the far right is not a zombie because it did not get a boost. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this in defense. Let the let the pumpkin just chill. Okay, so it was a monster, but it's not a zombie. So it must have been like one of his insectors, machine monsters. What have you seen that thing? It's just like throwing the ball, I think. Please. Yeah, it was an insect before. Okay. Because all we're doing is like pushing him to put a zombie on the field, put a pumpkin on the field, is what we're doing now. That's now the goal. Because if we can push him to put one on the field, then we're okay. I kind of don't want to reveal that that's a Skeleton yet. I did a lot of trial and error with the fusions, and you get to the point that there's just like some staple fusions that you know with the decks that you build, so you start playing with that. It makes it look easier. He's down to 26 cards. I know he has at least one pumpkin in the deck. Skeleton. Okay. Only lost 50 life points there, so that's not too bad. That's not bad at all. We can manage with 50 life points. And losing the clown zombie. Losing the clown zombie kind of sucks, but hey, whatever. He is scattering his forces a lot, which is nice. It's good for us. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of this. We just have to get rid of that I don't want his monsters to keep getting larger while I'm digging for stuff. That was skeleton. Or gold find. That could have been a gold find. Shadow spell is gonna be insane right here. Okay, so it's 
two Skeletons, a Pumpkin. We're just chilling. We're, we're, we should be fine. See, a little Skeleton. See, that's the thing about playing in here, is like, Skelegon is like one of the most powerful zombies in this game. Which is really weird that that's like the meta for this game. Because you can fuse into it, and it's got a really high attack point. Like, that and Goldfine is like the two best ones. Goldfine is arguably better, but... I mean, it is better, because it's like 2200 compared to like 1700. But it's still really good to be able to get to Skelegon. Hi, Star Lord. Let's work on getting Pumpkin promoted. Let's work on it getting promoted. Is it like 3,800? It's larger than anything he's gonna summon. Maybe if I like be aggressive with Pumpkin, he'll like summon a Pumpkin. Throw a pumpkin. I will come get it. Please. They actually closed the 3DS servers this week, I think. So you can't duel on it anymore. Let's go after whatever this is over there. That should be fine. By the way, I watched previous streams and learned about the game. Are you grinding? Yes, yes, I'm, ter I'm currently grinding against bones because I want to get another pumpkin. I want one more pumpkin. I've already beaten the game. Haha. Uh -huh. I've already beaten the game, but like, I want another pumpkin. I want a third pumpkin. And plus, I need to get Treasure Seeker on one of my monsters. So I can then start unlocking the Immortals. There's so many zombies on the field, dude. There's a- oh my god, look, it's another Skeleton. This pumpkin is just gonna demolish him. I see you being sneaky back there trying to move that up. Zombies do go crazy in this game. Was that... Wait a minute. That was Wasteland. Okay. No, he hasn't used the pumpkin yet. Armored zombie. Okay. Plus getting three in a row would be really nice. But, like, you've got to get another, like, deck master that's a special deck master to be able to do that, too. Gated. Stop it. See, I'm just trying to like push him to to do the thing that I want him to do. Right now. I had one of them that I forgot that was over there. 
Well, I'm gonna have to check and see what that was. It was a zombie, whatever it was. Cyberstein. Okay. That just turns anything that it battles on into Wasteland. Card band. Oh, good. Moment. Crowd him. Getting hit by a shadow spell. There it is! There it is! We found it! We found it! We found the Skelegon! Dude, he just got rid of that thing. He was like, forget it. Forget it. I am done with that. Okay. Pumpkin punch, punch pumpkin. I don't know. I love pumpkin's attack. He's like bad breath, no jutsu. Pumpkin spice breath, no jutsu. And little do you know, Pumpkin's actually allergic to pumpkins. And the reason he sounds like that is because he swallowed a squeaky toy when he was younger. Oh, he just punched after the win. Maybe Pumpkin would get promoted. Maybe I'll get lucky. Come King should be an archetype, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, no, I would love... I don't even think it needs to have that odd attack and defense. I have plans of updating ninjas as soon as the ban list drops. Pumpkin Spice no Jutsu. That's what he's doing. Well, do you know all zombies are allergic to pumpkin spice? There's that squeaky toy again. I would just love a new pumpkin. A new pumpkin, the king of ghosts, armored zombie, dragon zombie, and clown zombie. Like those, those four would be insane. Go, go so insane. Okay, all we need is pumpkin. Where's pumpkin? There's no pumpkin. Oh, well, we got a wood remain. Whatever. Yeah, those would be really good to be able to, like, put on, like, how many times have I dueled him? 13 times. Can I do a reincarnation yet? That'd be cool. I should be able to. If I can, I'm getting rid of this magic drain. We'll do something really big and see if we can get something really crazy. We can not really get it. That's okay. We'll go back in and duel bones again. I don't mind dueling Bones. Bones is actually relatively fun to duel because, like, he always moves to the right-hand side for him. You just throw monsters. You're just playing on one side of the field. Like, he never plays to the other side. So, it, like, cuts the field in half, which is cool. You guys want some Millennium Shield? What's some Millennium Shield? That's Ritual Summon. That'd be funny. 
that's fine. Lurking while you do Master Duel dailies is fine. Just make sure you like the stream because we're at 40 out of almost 50 likes. Every every like counts. There's a Skeleton. Summon a Palm Hand. Actually, if we summon both these wood remains and flip them both on the field at the exact same time, we actually could summon one of the Which is kind of fun. That's true. Okay. Let's summon Millennium Shield. Oh god, it's a wood remain. And we're summoning Millennium Shield. Okay, so that wood remains... Is it like... 2500? That's a little dangerous. But I think I can get rid of it. I think I can just lock it down with this. Or not this, this. Speed run the level. I could. I could. Look, it's a wood remain. Surprise! Yes, you can get a Sword Soul Structure Deck on Master Duel. I'm probably going to be streaming Master Duel next week playing with Chimera or trying to get Chimera. Okay. Two more turns. I'm at 3k. Holy. Jesus. The thing is big. On the fence position, I lost for a thousand points. Okay, so we gotta like deal with that. <laughs> I gotta get some boosts. When your player, nor do I play for 31 days straight, so I can enter the code on the. It's really easy, actually. All you have to do is really make, make two accounts. You can do it completely solo. one and then we're gonna do the other but, uh, also you can get like other people's codes too and do mutual follows I'll mutually follow you uh, put put your um, put your code in the chat and I will follow you so I can technically help you with it yeah that should deal with the wood Well, actually, no, I don't have the... I'm not a new player either, so no, I can't. Never mind. Put your code in the chat and somebody can help you out with it, maybe.
The code for Master Duel, there's a Master Duel code that you can get, and it'll help one another, where you basically just help one another with the code. I gotta get rid of some of these spawners on the field. Still gone, who would have guessed it? Okay, we're gonna skip the battles now. We're trying to get through this. So what is you guys' favorite zombie card ever? Because mine is probably, probably Pumpkin or Plague Spreader, one of those two. for a month is there something new or don't have no master well uh, there is a new code that went out there that you can do if you haven't played the game in like 31 days you can actually help one another by using that code that they just put out there by entering it in there and mutually following one another you can help one another get the thing so put your code out there too And I'll show you mine in a little bit. Actually, I can really quickly pull up mine too. So mutually follow one another, and then you can actually you know, uh, do that code thing, I think. Thanks, Bones! This game does not have snake eyes, no. I know, weird. I don't think he's gonna make anything larger than 39. I really don't. Okay. I'm just kind of concerned about like a dark hole or something. I'm getting my code out right now. Surrounding himself with spell cards? Wasteland and Monster Reborn. Let's 
Still going. Yeah, there's some sort of like, if you go out there, if you go out there and do the sword soul thing, oh, he walked right into that. If you scroll through your notifications, it should be right there. The sword soul campaign. Shadow Ghoul would be nice to have more of. Oh no, I already freed him. Oh, it's under friends? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna really quickly type up my campaign code and put it in the chat. Mine is 2C9. There you go. That's mine. Um, I'll put in anybody's that they that they want me to. I don't mind. I can. Yeah, I can't put in campaign codes because I played like yesterday. There it is, there's the pumpkin. It's right under it. If you put in, if you uh, do the code, it's under friends, Star Lord. You uh, put, you click, um, you click friends and then you click uh, enter campaign code under the top. It says rookie returner mutual follower campaign. If you go to enter campaign code and it says you can't enter the campaign code, then you can't do it. Oh, we dealt with the Eurozo. Okay, now we're gonna swing directly. Okay, we get a promotion? Yeah, we got a promotion for pumpkin. Okay, there's two pumpkins on the wheel. We gotta get one. One that's stuck together now. Yes. Hit that, come on. <sighs> That's okay, we got our pumpkin. Did he gain any abilities from that? Extended support range. 
Okay, so we got another dragon zombie, so we can put that in the main deck. We can go duel somebody else now. Oh, we have reincarnation, too. Take out those thunder monsters. We're gonna make a pure zombie deck. Make a little Yugi. Six cards. Dragon Zombie. Shadow Spectre. Can't put another Clown Zombie in. Red Eyes in. I actually have four pumpkins now. And come here for good measure. Okay. Can we get some more zombie stuff? Okay, let's do a quick reincarnation. Let's see what we can get. I'll probably throw one of those Guy Katina Megamis that we got before in. And we might be keeping that. We might keep that. I'll do the Soul Burn or whatever it was. Solomon's Lava. Good card's kind of crap. No, Solomon's Lava isn't enough. Let's do let's do the Soul Drain because we might get something really good from the Soul Drain or Magic Drain. We got a Sujin. That's a good one. We got another Sujin. That's also pretty good. And a Dragon Capture Jar. Double Sujin. That's pretty nice. Let's try and build a Gate Guardian deck on here. That'd be funny. That would be funny. That would work. I've had, I've had to do that before. Okay, so I want to show you guys something really cool. So, you look at Sujin, and you see it on, like, Gate Guardian. And when you look at it on Gate Guardian, you're like, oh, it's, it's like, it's like this really cool legs. Like, it's a pair of legs, right? Like, you think this is legs. Well, surprise, it's actually a skirt. Or a tablecloth. Dude's a tablecloth. A 2500 attack point tablecloth. I mean, they're genies, but. Reincarnation is when you click L3. After you win five duels in a row, or five duels, you get to click L3. And it makes it so that you can actually look at the, um, you can reincarnate and it gives you cards. Yeah. You get three cards for the price of one card. It pops up at the bottom of the screen that you can reincarnate. We are six likes away, guys, from hitting our 50 like goal for this stream, by the way. Okay, so who do we want to duel next? Do we want to go get Gate Guardian pieces? We technically could go get Gate Guardian pieces. Or do we want to go get Summon Skull? It's actually, there's only, there's certain cards you can only get through Reincarnation. Okay. I guess let's go duel. Uh, it's pretty easy. He's pretty easy. We're going to 
duel against. Hmm. Let's still get his Lapin's Ruler. Let's still get his Lapin's Ruler. We'll try and get some of the Gate Guardian pieces, I guess. Yeah, I always stream during weekdays, one day a week on um at 6 p.m central time not sure which day i try and do tuesdays but sometimes it's not tuesday sometimes it's wednesday sometimes it's thursday but it's usually tuesday it's usually tuesday on um at 6 p.m That card kind of sucks. I wonder if I could get him to Gate Guardian Ritual. That'd be cool. Okay, we're just gonna leave that there. Just so I can try to be around from now on. And, uh, oh, Europe. Okay. Man. 4 a.m. I throw a gate guardian. I wanted to throw a gate guardian so bad. telling me is, is I'm gonna have to move up and then stomp it with a zombie dragon. Yeah, yeah, okay. We can do that. It's pretty cool that you run a bakery. That you own a bakery. That's cool. I actually went to culinary school, which is, like, really neat that you own a bakery. That's really cool. Magical lab. Oh god, that's gonna shift everything. Oh. Thanks for the opening? I think.
awesome. That is not what I thought that was. That is definitely not what I thought that was. I mean that's a good idea. That is definitely a good idea. Okay, so we're gonna we're going for gate guardian pieces. So I'm trying to like eliminate some of these monsters. Power decrease. What did it do? Oh, okay. Shadow stone right there, just in case he tries to attack. I'm trying to get him to throw a gate guardian piece at me. That's gonna eternally spellbound that uh, labyrinth tank. So it should lock it down. Or at least, if he would step on the ritual. Okay. I guess we're just gonna hang on to the dark. Just hang on right there. Another magical labyrinth. Man just really locked me out. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love screaming. I really enjoy streaming this game, too. Because, like, this game is just so fun to play. It's weird that Chimera is in this game. That's basically what this game is. It's basically LOE. likes away guys from hitting the 50 gold like by the way oh we hit a red eyes please don't be skeleton
labyrinth wall. Oh, is it just create a labyrinth wall right there? I just wanted to throw Gate Guardian Ritual. And I don't think he's like gotten rid of any of the pieces yet. We'll have to check. He hasn't gotten rid of a single one of the pieces yet. It's probably going to come down to pumpkins. You're very welcome for the help. I'm glad that it worked out that you got your sword toll back. put a single piece on the field yet. I don't think. I double check. Uh, right. That was a needle worm. I might just leave him alone for a second over there. I don't know where he's gonna throw the gate guardian ritual. Like that's my goal this duel is because I wanna I wanna see if he will. Shadow Ghoul versus Wall Shadow. It's a pretty good deck list. We hit the we hit the goal guys, we hit 50 likes on the stream, that's insane. We did it. Okay, so wall shadow is the victor. You can play it instead of like the uh, Psychic End Punisher if you want to. In the Swords Hold Back. Both at 29. We 
wish I had dark piercing light and I'd flip his stuff face up. It is a, that would be a pretty big gamble, man. Dude, that wall is running at him. Pumpkins now, yo. We got four of them. Oh, come on, play something. Jesus, these guys are getting huge. Yeah, a, a charging wall, a wall charging you at you would be terrifying. I know. Wouldn't it? Second labyrinth thing. There is a rule about it only having only being able to have three of the similar card in the deck. trying to get him to move. Plus my zombies are getting massive. Okay, he did not. 
not step on him, did he? Yeah, he did. He's dead. Okay, we're getting rid of him. He stepped on one. We're done. Uh, Pause there's now one in the deck. I think I'll... I would just replace one of them. Play Triple Tactical Thrust and Talent. Or play Talent. All right, zombie gang, let's get him. I bet you that's Gate Guardian Ritual right there. Let's go get him. That is too. I was a Jirai Gumo this whole time. This whole time, my dude had a Jirai Gumo. They could have dropped my attack points down. this boy in the defense. That one's a 7,500. Good lord. I think it's huge. Oh, please. Please shift it. Oh, why? I know that was Crush Card, I just wanted to see what that was. This whole time. Him in right there. We'll block him in right there. And then we'll step on Bear Trap. Pass back over to him. Put another zombie over there. Move two zombies up, and then only get trapped. one real quick Sangha, or not Sangha, but uh, Stujin now. 
Which is exactly what it was. Well, I guess we could see Red Eyes and Sujin attack, which would be cool. Sujin's like, nah. Nah. Too bad. Yeah, this game does have, like, amazing animations. Okay, now we're gonna move in for his life points. have him in like two or three turns. Dungeon worm. There's the dungeon worm. Deck out. There's the Cosigen. We found it. Okay, you guys know we have to go after the Cosigen. I'm not even sure. I think he did. The game. This game is fine. No, it's got five on both. Eh, we have one card left in the deck. Put it there.
I know I could have won right there, but we're going after that cock gym. I didn't figure he would. I didn't figure he would attack. Okay, so he got rid of the Kazujin, he got rid of the Sujin, he got rid of the Sangha himself, and we got rid of Kazujin. So, we got rid of all of them. We just have to pass because it's spellbound. Okay. Pass. Monster Tamer. That's his deck master. You have returned, Slide. Welcome back. We hit the 50 likes. And swing. Wall Shadow got promoted. Okay, we're just gonna hit that, that. Nothing crazy. Nothing really crazy. So we're going to go ahead and save the game. Yeah, I enjoy draft duels with old sets. Those are fun. Okay. So I think that is going to do it for this stream, guys. We did beat Duels of the Roses. We dueled a little bit. We got our third Pum King, the King of Ghosts, which is kind of cool. We got some Gate Guardian pieces, but I think that's going to do it for now for Duels of the Roses. So, anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely hit that bell in there so you can come part of the notification spot. I'm going to try and stream Master Duel next week, returning with Master Duel, to be able to play with the new Chimera cards. That's going to be the goal. I'm going to try and get some more gems this week to be able to open up some packs, maybe. May already have opened up some packs to be able to get some of the Chimera cards. But that's going to do for this one, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.